All right. So before I share you all the websites where you can actually get good jobs, it is very very important to first be practical about how this really works, right? So there are four things that you need to consider before you even start applying for jobs and you start applying for freelancing gigs. Number one is picking the right skill to learn. Now there are two categories of people: one that belong to the IT background and one who do not belong to the IT background. I have to say this very very honestly that just thinking that I will get paid a lot. will not motivate you enough so you need to understand what is something that you can do without getting bored for longer stretches of time if you're in finance you can still do something which is in the field of finance that helps something in the it sector if you're creative you can always learn something that can help an it business so my point is you need to pick a skill which is relevant for a tech business that you can do remotely for a brand which might be in the us or in the europe and you need to be inherently interested in it now when you learn a skill it is very very important that you pick the right tools you pick the right techniques that are relevant in today's time for example if you want to learn how to make websites if you are understanding how html and css works you have lost the game so maybe you go to internet you go to chat gpt you figure out what is the latest thing out there and you realize that maybe webflow is the latest so if you're learning webflow you're on the right path maybe you realize that you're not very good at programming so you decide you research more and you come across framer so if you're learning framer if you're learning webflow good so does this come in web designing 100 percent but is this the most commonly web designing skill not really because most people will not even know that webflow and framer are the next thing for some people if they go on google they will probably find something like javascript or css and html and they will start learning that so you need to spend at least 10 to 15 days first deciding what is it that you can do without getting bored secondly what part of your skill can help a tech business third what is the most relevant tools and skills or trends that you need to learn fourth find people who already are doing the kind of work that you wish to do see if you can either follow their work or study their portfolios or just send them a message on linkedin or just get connected with them on instagram because you need to first understand who are you aspiring to become i know that you will not get any mentors mentorship by default is very very expensive and people will not help you for free see even i don't give one to one mentorships because i know it is not scalable So I make these videos so that I'm spending time once and then thousands of students are getting help from this. So your number one step is about getting clarity. and just knowing that oh it has a lot of money that itself is not going to be enough number 2 don't expect any responses until unless you have at least 6 to 8 months of dedicated experience see this is how the evolution looks like for a beginner first the beginner learns the tool for example in the case of ux design learning the tool could be about learning figma once you have learned figma you learn the subject which could be the subject of ux design and within ux also you have so many different things now i'll tell you where is the roadblock a lot of students don't know what to learn even if they do know what to learn they don't know where to learn it from so these are some problems that we have tried to solve in the world of design and ai so with ai i launched how to prom.in for design we launched learn ui ux.in but for other fields let's just say you want to do marketing or video editing or graphic designing in all of those cases you need to start your research on google bard and chat gpt you no longer need any mentors to help you out so even if you have the free version of chat gpt it is more than enough otherwise you go to google bard you create proper proper prompts to help you understand where do you want to learn how do you structure it how much time you need to spend and this is how a basic prompt structure can look like let's assume that you want to learn graphic designing specifically social media graphic designing so you can go to bard or chat gpt and say that i am trying to learn social media marketing specifically tools like canva are there any recent trends tools or techniques that i should learn in the next 30 days so that i prepare myself for the most high paying jobs and you can always say give me an upskilling plan for the next 30 days assuming that i only have 1 hour every day give me one single resource for every single day along with the links and if you are using chat gpt you can say that give me the result in a tabular format so i'm not saying that the prompt has to be exactly like this but you get the point you don't have to rely on google or mentorships anymore to understand what to learn but first doing the research first narrowing it down first truly truly defining this is the skill this is the latest thing this is where i need to learn this is where i need to put my energy very very important so your learning has to be split in learning the tool and learning the subject If you know the tool but not the subject you are stuck. If you know the subject if you know the theory really well but you can't deliver it it probably means that you're not really good at the tool even then you'll get stuck. So you have to balance both of these out. And talking from a very practical way 
folks, there is no fast way to this. Okay, if you really want to make that one lakh rupee per month wala income, you need to spend at least six to eight months first learning the tool, another six to eight months learning the subject. I'm not going to be one of those people who will be like spend thirty days and make money. See, if you want those sugar pills, you can always go to somebody else. But if you're coming here, let me break this to you. Anything significant that helps you get paid, you can't build it in less than one year. So people ask me, Ansh, will we not make any money in that one year? Of course not. You will make some money, but maybe as an intern, maybe as a freelance gig, maybe as a gig where you give one brochure, one article, stuff like that. But if you're planning to get consistent income every single month, then you need to be very, very good. You need at least six to eight months of tool experience, six to eight months of subject experience. A huge problem with students is that when they're learning, they don't use AI. They don't go on websites like Reddit and Quora and YouTube to first narrow down a plan for themselves, and they don't document their learnings. For example, I was trying to learn about design systems. It is a field inside UX where you understand how websites and apps are built. So before even learning anything, I first went to my Notion and I first. First, made a list of channels. Then I shortlisted the top channels that I felt I was more comfortable with. Because sometimes it's not just about a resource being really good; it is also about your own personal preferences. So in my case, my personal preferences has always been reading. But for some people, it might be watching videos. So you need to shortlist a good channel to learn from, and you won't find it on day one. So you have to keep searching. You have to keep refining. Then whatever you document, have proper page-wise documentation for every single subject. So we had created a very detailed video. Video on Notion as to how do I document my learnings on Notion. If you haven't seen it, please watch that. I had also created a video called 2023 Roadmap where I had answered all the important questions around learning UX. But if you don't want to do UX, if you want to do something else, you can always you know build a similar roadmap for yourself. Now, a very very important thing that you need to start doing is to create content. But when I say create content, I don't mean start giving you know knowledgeable gyan wale reels. You don't have to do that. The thing is, there are two categories of content that do well on the internet. Number one is very you create something from experience for example i am making these videos from experience but you can only do this once you're really good at what you do the second category is of being a curator sahil bloom his profile on linkedin and twitter he doesn't really create a lot of content now he does but when he started out he just picked interesting things from the internet there are so many ai influencers out there who are not doing anything much in terms of creation but they would just curate the top resources they would just find the best resources they would just find the best youtube videos or tutorials and give them to you and that itself gives them a lot of reach because people follow them because of their ability to curate the right things right so when you're starting out you need to build in public you need to learn in public so make it a target that every week i will post at least 3 linkedin posts documenting what i've learned when you document it can either be just a text post with one image and folks when you're putting up an image make sure it is a relevant image it can either be you on your desk working on something or it can be an image of something that you've learned on notes of your uh, notion page or your document whatever it may be but it has to be relevant the interesting part here is that if you build in public very soon people will start to notice you and what i used to do is i used to go to medium read relevant articles connect with their authors on linkedin and i used to keep connecting with people on linkedin so we have created a very cool video it's called insider tips on getting a high paying ux design job and that talks about this entire process of how you can expand your linkedin network because most students they build in public on instagram and linkedin but the sad part is that their friends and families are following them so they will not give you a job right so you need to be connected to the right kind of people now while you're improving your skill sets If you really want to get good clients abroad, your English has to be good. And I get it if your verbal English is not that good, but at least your written English has to be good. And I'm not saying you have to be super super good from day one. You can get a plugin like Grammarly Pro. You can always use the free version of Google Bard. You can use the free version of Chat GPT, and you know start putting your messages and ask Chat GPT to grammar correct it for you. It'll do it for you for free. So you know there are no excuses left anymore. You have to learn how to write proper English, whether it's on WhatsApp, whether it's on Slack, whether it's on email. your grammar has to be on point so please make sure that you're consistently learning english writing we have created a very very in depth video on how you can improve your english in just 50 days it is a very practical very hands on video but it is in hindi so if you speak hindi then you will be able to understand it otherwise it's uh, yeah you'll have to probably use automated captions for it but i personally feel that learning english really helped me because i belong to a household in delhi and in my house we used to speak in hindi so hindi was our first language your next step is to make sure you're building a digital portfolio folks nobody will hire you until unless they see concrete work so i'm going to be sharing a couple of websites 
for you right on each of those websites you need to put in your linkedin profile you need to put in your instagram you need to put in your digital portfolio please make sure you buy your domain name .com go to squarespace get your .com for example i own anshmara.com number 2 please have all of your case studies either declared on behance or on notion and have dedicated links for each of those case studies you need to have all of this dynamic please no pdfs absolutely just remove pdfs then make sure that on your linkedin you have updated your dp have a clear cut professional dp go to a photography studio please don't use your phone wear something formal clean your face clean your hair look the best version of yourself upload a formal photo upload your bio upload your experience but of course the resources i'm going to share today they don't require any linkedin but still i'm just letting you know because while you're building in public while you're putting content on linkedin there's a huge probability that somebody might notice you and give you a good opportunity now when you're making your digital portfolio you need to make sure that there are at least three case studies whether it's in marketing whether it's in design and don't focus too much on the process show the result the result is very very important and i can bet i can literally bet on this that if you have a video at the start if you record a loom video if you don't know what a loom video is please go on google check it out if you have just a 3 minute loom video summarizing your entire case study that will really help you why because it's not just about showcasing your work it shows that you're confident it shows that you know how to speak it shows that you can speak in front of the camera you know how to put your words in a flowable sentence you need to know how to put your thoughts into sentences that are clear to understand so it begins with clear writing then it goes to clear speaking right and then you sort of have more skills on top of that but please make sure that you have all of these assets ready in all of your case studies your digital portfolio needs to have your proper email your proper picture link to your videos everything they need to see your entire personality because when people hire you abroad they don't just hire you on the basis of your work but they also hire on the basis of your personality how confident you are how clear you are when you're communicating because big companies they don't just want a person who's really good at what he or she does they also want good team players right and being able to communicate clearly having a more charming personality really really helps now if you feel that you struggle with charm if you feel that you struggle with confidence i made a video which is called how to glow up the thumbnail says fix your life i personally feel that i have shared so many tips in that that it can really change your life if you take that video seriously it changed mine you can literally go from here to here so i am a living example of how things can change if you follow this advice practically So yes that video I'll put all the links in description I really hope that you check this out in the very last step please make sure that you don't ask for a full time job by default always ask for a 3 month internship and if possible if your pocket allows you work at dirt cheap rates but don't work at dirt cheap rates for someone who is unfunded or bootstrap so always target people who are funded because they have more cash flows or they have funding money so at least you know that they can afford you once you raise your prices but tell them when you offer uh, is there in the document in the email tell them that i will work at a 50% cut for the first 3 months only to show you how good i am because i'm really confident about my skills but once i cross the 3 month threshold if you find value in my work if you feel that i am saving you time, then you will have to pay me a high price and then you can quote that price on the first email itself now i know that emails are not attested and there's no legal binding behind them but just declaring these things at forefront will help you negotiate your offer when you take things ahead now i have a list of 15 really really useful websites that you need to check out to get remote jobs i won't go into the depths of all 15 of them so i'm going to show you 5 6 of them that i personally really like and there's no order to these it's not like the first one is better and the last one is worse it's just that some of these uh, have a really good listing right so i'm going to show you four or five but it is your responsibility to make sure that you out of these 15 you at least at least go and create an account on 7 to 8 at least 50% of these should have your username should have your account please make sure that you update your profile but as i said you still need to put your work so on day 1 you can create an account but keep yourself on a tight deadline that in the next Three months, I will upload one case study every single month, and I will use Chat GPT and Google Bard to upskill myself, to improve myself, and then I will keep updating myself on these profiles. So let's go to the desktop. Let me show you all of these websites one by one. All right, so just like you all can see, this is the list of fifteen websites, not in a specific order, and I will paste all the links in description. But let me just show you how exactly do you use them, right? So let's start with Himalayas dot app. Now this has a remote job board. 
okay and the interesting part is that you will find big companies and starting companies both and these websites are not just for design right so you can have remote developer jobs marketing jobs so many jobs right so if i were to click on say remote design jobs i haven't created an account yet but even at the outset you have all of these advertisements listed right here now let's just say that you are specifically into graphic designing all you have to do is click on say senior graphic designer if you feel that you have that level of experience but you know in some cases they would have a tag that says figma and then they'll have like 150 jobs for that so you have to be smart enough that they are not just asking for figma they are also asking for ui and ux skills as well so if i were to go say check out paytm you'll see product design manager central team and it tells you the location it tells you about the team about the role so you have all of these informations available and their social media profiles and of course this is paytm so you would already know this but if i were to say go check this out you would of course have a lot of this information that you would not you know uh, get that easily if you were to search this on your own right so it actually shows you that their employees live in all of these different places so how amazing this can be for us right all of this information you know for jobs for different companies all of these things are listed in one single place now even within companies you can go and check out companies per domain as well so if you want to do fintech if you want to if you want to do SaaS, all of those things can be easily filtered out right now my next website is going to be working nomads.com again this has a list of remote jobs for so-called digital working nomads uh, which basically means that a person who's just traveling and working remotely i know it sounds very very like uh, amazing but uh, most of the digital working nomads are usually stressed out of course you know there's one top 10 percent that has been in the industry for four five years so after five years of working hard they can make a lot of money by spending less time so i'll tell you how this works right in the beginning you actually sell your time so it's very deliverable based pricing but after three four years of experience you switch to value based pricing where you almost get two times three times four times more than somebody who's a beginner simply because you give so much of value in just like an hour of work right so in this case again you have so many different things you know you have your tags on the right side you have the job on the left side and you'll instantly know whether this is you know like a work from home whether they have any specific requirement so of course all of these things have a location filter they have a category filter if i go here and let's just say if i only select design then of course you know it'll have like all of these things filtered out so you can have the position you have the place you have the salary all of these things now i won't say that in just one year you will be able to crack all of them right so this video is for both beginners and seniors so you need to think about this accordingly right as a beginner if you go and apply for director product design then it is you who is not using this resource smartly so you need to be very very intelligent about this and of course if you go to like their premium section you know all of these websites they have your proper email weekly subscription but of course a lot of students might not be able to afford this if you're a professional you can 100% try this out on third we have remote.co again very very interesting website uh, because they also have a huge huge repository and the fun part is that with so many of these resources available you can obviously imagine that there is no lack of resources for a person who's good at her job right so the only limitation now is how motivated are you to improve yourself because you know this entire myth that there is not enough jobs in the market ai will take jobs ai will do this ai will do that look at this list right here look at this list i can click on any single company and you'd realize that they're all hiring aggressively and i'll tell you one very very useful trick what you should do is let's say you find a company and you really really like this job description literally take all of these responsibilities okay copy this go to chat gpt and say these are the responsibilities i'm preparing for now you need to tell me the resources that i can use to upscale myself in these domains tell me how should i improve this tell me how should i test myself all of these things really really matter now another one very important thing folks is that when people say five plus years in software design or digital product design it is their way of filtering out talent you can be at two years of design as well but if you're really really good they will still hire you so don't say that oh they have a limit of five years that's why i'm not applying to them folks this is just them trying to save their own time okay now what i would recommend you to do is there's a higher chance of you finding an indian company on these websites for a remote internship so first try doing that if you're an absolute beginner go to all of these remote websites see if you can get an indian company as an intern apply and go there for three months and then prove your worth okay next we have weworkremotely.com again they are celebrating 10 years of remote work so this website has been the number one destination to find and 
list incredible remote jobs with 4.5 million visitors so of course this is absolutely crazy and what you can also do is that you can uh, literally select a specific category and then you can put in your email and then subscribe to it so they can send you regular updates on all of these jobs so you know extremely extremely useful stuff next we have just remote.co again uh, i think now, by this time you sort of know the point of all of this uh, but what i'm trying to do here is that i'm trying to make you understand that just looking at a job description and just blindly applying will also not get you results so you know what i used to do is if i in my college days basically i didn't know ki what job should i apply for so because i was very desperate i was applying for marketing also video editing also graphic design also ux also the biggest mistake that i made in the starting was that i had one resume and i was reusing that resume everywhere else a senior told me that if you are trying to crack those jobs rather than applying with one cv in 100 companies you shortlist only 10 companies you first go to that specific job descriptions responsibility section in this experience section and you take these clues and then edit your resume according to this so i am not saying that you need to say oh i have prior experience in selling professional services even in reality if you don't have it no don't do that i'm saying if there's any intersection between this and your resume then you can club those together now if you have invested in the paid version of chat gpt this is how you can do this very smartly you go to chat gpt you enable code interpreter you upload your resume then you upload this then you ask chat gpt what are the intersections and what all changes can i do to my resume if you have the free plan you of course can't upload the pdf so you can just copy all the text of your resume put it into chat gpt then put this text and ask chat gpt to mentor you folks i personally can't possibly overestimate how useful ai can be for you at this point in time because ai can't replace you as a professional for sure but ai can help you improve your cvs your communication and so many other things right so please use those things wisely this next platform herkey.com this is india's largest career engagement platform for women so if you're a girl if you're a lady this has amazing amazing opportunities for you you'd have to like sort of uh, sign up for it i haven't created an account yet uh, but i just want to share this resource because this is specifically for people uh, you know who want opportunities and you know they actually tell the problem very very well that companies in india face a leaky talent pipeline they start with 30% women at the entry level which drops to 10% at the management level and then 1% at the cxo level right and they are here to change that then we have remotehabits.com so i am sharing this website not just just for like job listing but this website can really really help you become a better person as you are working remotely so the thing is when you're working remotely there are so many things that you need to be good at right that's text communication it is email writing it is document writing it is management of time so if you go to the interview section they have so many interesting interviews from people who share their experiences share their insights and they work in really really good companies right so mike right here is a software engineer who works remotely at github right so you can obviously imagine the kind of insights you can get from these people the thing is folks that at this point you should not wait for a mentor these articles are your mentors like you don't need any mentorship after this right and they have different tools as well they have sort of split these tools into multiple ways uh different categories they have all of these articles so really really useful website at the very end i just want to share remotive.com as well so again this is a marketplace sort of a thing and you have all of these listings you know uh the ui is slightly tight but again you can sign up for daily uh, you know reminders you can tell them that this is the kind of job that i'm looking for and you know just keep giving me reminders one very important thing to note is that don't get into the trap of just blindly applying without really understanding what is working and what is not working so let me just verify that i am a human the irony but yes uh, if i click on design you can obviously see there are so many things happening here right and one more very very cool technique that you can use is that you can go to this say i pick this company right here right you go check out this company on linkedin and figure out what other different designers who are working in this company you can also connect with them on linkedin right so don't ask for an internship just say that i am a student i'm aspiring to learn please make sure you use proper grammar please please folks there are so many messages that i get on linkedin and email and i know your students you have this shortcut habit of you know just like eating up words but it doesn't look professional i have been there so i know i have also created this mistake where i used to send extremely unprofessional messages to people which felt like i'm whatsapping a friend of mine sets a very very bad impression so yes i just thought i'll quickly show all of these websites but i would strongly recommend you folks to check out all of these 15 and create accounts on at least 6 to 7 only then you can sort of have proper
proper proper ROI coming out of it and folks being very very clear about it don't expect any results until unless you've spent 7 to 8 months improving your craft and you're building in public in parallel you're making accounts on these websites and then nobody will reply you on the first go i was rejected by at least 50 to 60 companies when i was in my last year of college and i was also freaking out so i know how scary it gets but you don't have to panic right like things do get better and if you're really good at what you do people will come to you so it all depends on how good you are at what you do all right now i cannot end this video without touching the subject of money right because what is the use of having so many websites and all of these things when you don't have the right expectations on the kind of money that you will make now when you go to these websites and you see oh hundred thousand dollars two fifty thousand dollars this much that much uh a normal naive beginner kid would feel ki ha main apply karunga and i'll get this money like directly so folks let me share this uh, very important principle in life that this is how money making really looks like in the real world it is a struggle to first learn a skill it is a struggle to get somebody as a client and it is even more struggle to get money out of that person's bank account and more struggle when you get that money from an international bank account to the indian bank account theek hai because uh, see i want to give you a motivational picture for sure but i can't really give you a rosy picture which is very far away from the reality so when you are creating income which comes from a foreign thing first of all you need a proper bank account on your name you need to go to your bank enable international transactions you have to fill up a form with your pan card you need to declare your services you need to give your pan card a lot of things otherwise your payment gets blocked so this is called as international remittance okay it calls remittance money and remittance money is not like you getting money from upi and another thing is that because this person is in a different country altogether if this person ghosts you for example if this person takes money from you and just ghosts you you can't do anything at some point like you actually can't do much as a beginner so please have that gut in yourself that intuition in yourself that don't work with people who don't seem reliable don't work with people who don't have a brand or don't have much people in their team who are not funded because you will work very hard you will get the client but if that client doesn't pay you that's an issue if that client sends you money and within 7 days your indian bank account doesn't accept money then it is it goes back to that person so the remittance has to be accepted from you so all of the things really really matter now a lot of people ask me anj how much money do we need to expect see i will tell you not to jump too too high in your first attempt and first target an indian company okay get an indian company uh who is making money either in the us or they know that they can pay you well so a good stipend for both marketing or design should be anywhere around 30 to 40000 rupees per month but you can't get this until unless you fulfill the checklist that i have shared in the first part of the video you go to your client and say that sir or ma'am i will do my internship with you for 35 to 45000 rupees per month remote job and after 3 months once you feel that i'm good enough i want my salary to be 1 lakh rupees per month and you can also have me as a contractor or you can have me as a full time employee as well so that is the tentative range for a beginner i just want to like clear this out uh, but you know what what happens is that people do really bad work they do really average work and even then they expect 30 to 40k so folks there are two three videos that i had created around this entire concept of why would somebody pay you how do you make more money and uh, it's actually in the very end like two three videos of my 15 episode course on ux design some of those videos are around how to uh, behave in your first job right so i have shared my experiences of my first full time job and what all i did and i always and always over delivered i always did more than what i was paid for always but i also did it for the right kind of people so you have to do both of these things very smartly number one you have to work for the right kind of people and secondly you have to play a long term game you have to over deliver and you have to do for more than what you're getting paid for because there's a very uh, i think it's by zig ziglar there's a very cliche quote that the person who does more than what he's paid for will eventually earn more than what he works for something around those lines but you get the point that it's sort of like you get your dues paid after a long time but i'm telling you it is worth it it is worth it all of those weekend skipped weekends that hard work that i did in 2020 i i did a lot of hustling from 2020 to 2021 i'm not going to say that i'm like a very successful person and all of that stuff not the best designer at all but my life changed like my life changed after 2022 simply because maybe i was not getting attention for the first one or two years of my life but the day it got compounded the day somebody smart saw me that person gave me a really big opportunity and i i literally 
literally went from here to here. So it took two and a half years for sure. There's no magic pill where in six months you'll get something amazing. In eight months, you'll get something amazing. It takes two and a half years minimum. Like look at any big company, look at any big player, right? I was watching Beckham on Netflix. Totally recommend it. 100% recommend. Three documentaries you have to watch Beckham on Netflix, The Last Dance on Netflix, and then We Work on Apple TV. Amazing. In fact, I'll make a video one day that, you know, just talks about all of these recommendations. I think these are like super, super important. Now, I personally feel that once you have some experience with Indian clients, then you can sort of shift to a global market because global markets need way more experience, way more nuance, way more subtlety, way more expertise. And you can sort of, you know, test your waters by uh, doing some local work within India. And to be honest, making money even in India is not that easy. You know, I also personally feel that it is very, very easy to learn some random skills which are very mediocre and then you can make 30,000 from 10 different people so you will make 3 lakh rupees a month but that is not scalable. You need to figure out how do I upskill myself again and again and again and again so that at one point I can get a client that pays me like 2 lakh rupees a month or maybe I can get a consulting gig where I get paid by the hour. So I have so many friends who are consultants and I'll tell you how the consulting business works. You work in a field for 2.5 or 3 years and you become really good at it, you build a brand so people know you and people trust you. You have two calls a week with a company one hour each where you train their team and they pay you almost 10 to 15 thousand rupees for per session which is for like a one and a half hour long session so easily you make one lakh rupees a month by just spending eight to ten hours eight to ten hours you get one lakh rupees in your bank account but again this is not like some rosy uh picture where you start on day number one and at the year end you get paid like this so of course this is an outcome that comes maybe after three four years but i'm telling you these things because you need to get excited that if you start working hard today life can be really really good for you after three or four years like things do change if you act smartly if you use the right tools if you have the right approach if you are real about yourself if you're fully aware of your limitations and where you need to go and how do you need to do it that is the gap that i am trying to fill on this youtube channel as well so let me know in the comment section if you want more videos like these where we talk about you know remote jobs and communication and asking for a better price uh, for a very very long time i was creating content on ux and ai and figma and all of these tools and these tutorials are freely available but these are hard skills and they only take your life from maybe here to here but the next level comes when you sort of understand these very very soft skill based topics right like communication positioning visibility networking in fact i have made this very very useful live stream on how to network at parties it's a very very old video but i have personally used these lessons like this is not theory folks all of those lessons in that video i have used them and I've used them to build better relationships. I've used them to stand out in a party of people who were way above me in the uh, so-called social status hierarchy, whatever triangle that you have in your mind. But basically people who are way above me, I could still get their attention. I could still have a contact with them and they remember me till this date, right? So all of these things really, really matter. So I would totally recommend you check them out. All the links will be in description. And just to repeat one very important point that at the beginning of your career in the first three years, you will have time-based pricing where you will sell your time. But if you work hard and if you keep upscaling yourself, you will soon transition to a point where you will have value-based pricing, right? And this is something that I've learned from Chris Do from the future as well. He's a he's an amazing, amazing teacher. I've never really spoken to him, but I'm pretty sure that one day we will work together on something very, very incredible. If you ever come across a Chris Do live stream, let him know that Anch Mehra is a big fan and you should totally do something with him. But yes, I would appreciate if you folks were way more patient in this entire process because if you really want to become unbeatable, if you really, really want to become powerful in your field, it doesn't happen in a year. It doesn't happen in two years. It takes time. But once you get there, it's totally worth it. So yes, I think enough gyan for one single video. I hope that this video gave you some clarity around how to approach remote jobs, websites where you can apply for this, all the resources that you need to get uh, to sort of upscale yourself, to accelerate your income. And along with some reality checks as to what all do you need to really get that money from some uh, random person sitting in some other part of the world into your real Indian bank account, right? So the, the process is not that simple. And uh, please make sure that you click on subscribe and hit the bell icon. Have you liked this video yet? Have you clicked on subscribe? Have you clicked on the bell icon? Because if we are making so much of effort, I want you folks to make equal effort as well. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything specific that you want me to cover in the upcoming videos. We have been creating free Figma courses. We have launched so many cool 
videos and workshops and so many other details on learnuiux.in so many resources around chat gpt and mid journey on how to prom.in and of course you know everything is available on youtube as well if you haven't connected with me on instagram yet we have created a broadcast channel where i keep sharing like behind the scenes and if i go to a very cool event i would just keep sharing that this is where i'm going this is what i'm doing so that's like a very close knit community so please make sure that you follow us on instagram on at the rate anshmehra.in join the broadcast trust me it's going to be a lot of fun i share a lot of details with that being said i hope that you're taking care of your mind and body this is your dost anshmehra signing out